Bro climbed into a hot air balloon floating 10,000 meters in the air. After climbing up, she kicked a big hole in the top of the balloon. As the balloon continued to leak air, Mary immediately knelt down and drew a dagger from her waist. She cut the shoelace and stuck her shoe on it. Just after she did that, Mary fainted due to lack of oxygen. What's worse, as the balloon descended, Mary's body began to slide downward. Finally, her body fell over. Mary was woke up by the weightlessness, but her body began to fall. When she opened her eyes again, she realized she was already 10,000 meters high in the air. The rope around her waist saved her life. Before she could rejoice, the ice on the rope began to melt. In a panic, she called for help from her friend in the basket, but her friend just sat there and didn't move. Mary had no choice but to swing the rope as hard as she could. She tried to swing her body to the edge of the basket. Fortunately, the rope was very strong. Soon, she was swinging more and more. When she nearly reached the basket, she stomped her feet feet and bounced her body away. She fought as hard as she could to survive. Mary was saddened by her friend's indifference. She wanted to know what had happened. When she got inside the basket, she was shocked to find her friend had passed out because of the extreme cold. Hearing his heartbeat getting weaker and weaker, Mary became very anxious. She began to regret boarding the balloon. They had been working on a weather forecasting project before. Now they're trapped at 10,000 meters and her friend is dead. But just as she was despairing, her friend suddenly began to breathe and miraculously came back to life. Looking at Mary's skin hands, Jack realizes that she climbed up and manually opened the upper air vent to save herself. At the same time, snowflakes fell from the sky. It was as if they were celebrating their survival, but it wasn't long before they realized that the snowflakes were stuck in the air when they should have been falling. They immediately realized something was wrong. The hot air balloon was falling faster than the snowflakes. At this rate, they would be killed. They hurriedly threw everything in the basket to the ground including the coats they were wearing. But even so, they were still falling fast. The gas in the hot air balloon started to leak. In the nick of time, Jack grabbed a dagger and climbed up to the top ring with Mary. Then he cuts the rope connecting the basket. As the last rope is cut, the basket falls into the sky. The balloon's descent begins to slow, but it's still not enough to land them safely. In this moment of crisis, Mary doesn't hesitate to stand on the iron ring. She was ready to jump down to reduce the weight and give her friend a chance to survive. Jack tried his best to stop her. He wouldn't let Mary die because of him. Jack looked at the swinging hot air balloon and suddenly thought of an idea. He told Mary to hold onto the rope, then quickly grabbed a knife and cut off all the ropes connected to the balloon. Then the balloon took the form of a parachute. It was slowly falling in the air. Seeing this, they finally breathed a sigh of relief for the time being. But the crisis wasn't really over. With no time to slow down, they could only follow the balloon into the dense forest. But Jack lost his grip and was thrown off. Mary wasn't so lucky either. Without the buffer of trees, the balloon carried her down from a height of more than 10 meters. Mary couldn't react in time and lost consciousness on the spot. She rolled on the ground like a rag doll. After a long time, Mary finally woke up from the coma. Mary was very anxious at the thought of the missing Jack. She stood up and called his name desperately. Luckily, Jack was still alive. Hearing his voice, Mary finally relaxed. They finally survived.